B is man-made resources. Man-made resources. Learners, man-made resources, man-made resources are also known as artificial goods. Artificial are also known as artificial goods. As the name suggests, made by man. Man-made resources are resources that are made by man. They are made by man. They are created by human beings to be used in satisfying their wants. Man-made resources are also known as artificial goods which are made by human beings to help in or to be used in satisfying their wants. Human beings do what? Human beings make use of natural resources, as you had said. They make use of natural resources to produce goods that are either consumed directly, like food, like clothes, and so on, or are used to produce other goods and services. So man-made goods, learners, man-made goods. We are saying man makes use of natural resources to produce goods that he consumes uh, directly or he uses these natural resources to produce goods that are used to produce other goods. And these goods that man consumes directly are known as consumer goods and may include food, uh, clothes, uh, televisions, and so on. The go consumer goods, the, the, like the items you find in the supermarket, the items you find in, in the markets, those are consumer goods, okay, electronics, and so on. On the other hand, they are goods that are used to produce other goods. And these are termed as capital goods. Capital goods. These goods that are used to produce other goods are known as capital goods or producer goods. They include tools, plant, machinery, uh, commercial vehicles, and so on. So man-made goods can be categorized into two. We have the consumer goods and the capital goods. I've given examples of consumer goods, food, clothes, television, uh, tables, and so on. They are consumed directly, but there are those that are used to produce other goods. I've given examples, machinery, tools, uh, commercial vehicles, and so on. So these are man-made goods.